prove that if p of z has a zero of order m at z naught, then the derivative has a zero of order m minus one at z naught. This should be a pretty straightforward proof. Let's go ahead and try it. So we'll start by supposing that p has a zero of order m at z naught. So suppose p of z has a zero of order m at z naught. Then we'll just write down what this means. So this means that there exists a function which we'll call, say, q, such that, a polynomial function, such that p of z is equal to z minus z naught to the nth power times q of z, where q of z naught is not equal to 0. Now we have to prove that the derivative has a 0 of order m minus 1. So the natural thing to do now is look at the derivative of p. So then let's look at the derivative of p, so p prime of z. And in order to take the derivative, we'll use the product rule. So we'll take the derivative of the first. So we'll use the power rule here. So m z minus z naught. Then we subtract 1. So m minus 1 times the derivative of z minus z naught. But that's just 1, so I won't write it. So this is the derivative of the first times the second. So q of z plus the first factor. So z minus z naught to the m times the derivative of the second factor, so q prime of z. This can be rewritten, so we have p prime of z. We should be able to factor out something. Let's take out z minus z naught to the m minus 1, because that's what we want to factor out, right? We need to have it written as z minus z naught to the m minus 1 times a polynomial such that when you evaluate that polynomial at z naught, you don't get 0. So let's pull this out z minus z naught to the m minus 1. And if we do that, we're left with m q of z. And looks like here we're going to have plus z minus z naught to the first power, and then q prime of z. So we have p prime of z is equal to z minus z naught to the m minus 1 times, say, let's call it h of z, where h of z is equal to this expression here. So m q of z plus z minus z naught q prime of z. And moreover, if we look at h of z naught, well, let's see. h of z naught, this piece here is going to be 0. So we're just going to have m times q of z naught. And there's no way this is equal to 0, because m is not 0, and q of z naught is not 0 by a hypothesis. So we've shown that p prime of z is equal to z minus z naught to the m minus 1 power times a polynomial function such that h of that z, h of z naught is not equal to 0. So that's exactly what it means for p prime to have z naught be a 0 of order m minus 1. So z naught is a 0 of order m minus 1 of p prime of z. So I hope that made uh, some sense. It's a pretty straightforward proof. You just write down your hypothesis, write down what it means for z naught to be a zero of order m for p. It means this. And then compute the derivative and rewrite it in a form to uh, show that z naught is a zero of order m minus one for p prime. I hope this helps.